The wait is finally over. The penguins have arrived at Columbian Park. Star City's Dave North introduces us to Greater Lafayette's newest residents. The sign went up two years ago in 2019, proclaiming we'd have penguins at the Columbian Park Zoo in the spring of 2020. Then the pandemic came and delayed the project for over a full year. But on Thursday, a small crowd of donors surrounded Penguin Cove for the first look at the long-awaited new residents. We got a sneak peek when they were just building. And from that point, saying the bones and sticks that it came from, it's a beautiful facility, and it's going to be great for years to come. Terry Stein is the son of Don and Lois Stein, who started the process of bringing penguins to the Columbian Park Zoo over 10 years ago. Terry says the family wanted to give back to the city they call home. It's been good to my folks and our family, and uh, my mom has been a fan of penguins until you smell them. Uh, for years and years. Seven of the nine total penguins are now living in the zoo's new facility. The final two birds will join the others when their molting process is complete. The rock hopping birds traveled from Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in California, accompanied by a zookeeper and a veterinary technician who will help the penguins transition to their new home. Tom Bush says he wanted to be among the first to visit the new exhibit. They're really great, they're personable, and uh, they um, are really a tremendous addition to our community. My girlfriend's boss is Lori Stein Sable, so uh, we came here to support her and obviously brought the kids, let them look at the penguins. Stein says even though his parents aren't here to see their dream become a reality, the new addition to the zoo means their legacy will live on. It's been a pleasure that seeing this come to fruition, uh, and it's, it's, it's a great day for the Stein family and everybody in the community, we think. Penguin Cove will be open to visitors daily during regular zoo hours from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Dave North, Star City News, Columbian Park.